This is Ben Shalom, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Okay, so the Congolese heavyweight Martin Bacoli has signed a long-term deal with Boxer to feature on Sky Sports. So Boxer have now added to their heavyweight stable. So Martin Bacoli will now be joining the likes of Huey Fury, Joseph Parker, Stephen Robinson, TKV, Nick Campbell, and Fraser Clark. So I may have missed another heavyweight. I apologize if I have. So good move for Boxer. Good move for Martin Bacoli. So well done to Martin Bacoli and uh, Billy Nelson for getting that one on the line because now we can see Martin Bacoli hopefully get in the ring and be quite active because believe it or not, it's been nearly a year since he took on Tony Yoka in that phenomenal performance. I think we're about two months off a year now. So that was a great performance and they didn't capitalise on it. He booted his profile. The fans suddenly turned their heads toward Martin Bacoli and hang on a minute, there's been a lot of talk about you being a serious contender at the top end. Now you've proven it. Let's see some more. And nothing happened. Why it didn't happen? Wiser people will know more than what I do. But going forward now, I mean, if we were to just look at, say, potential fights for him in the heavyweight division, now he signed with Boxer, obviously there's in-house fights to be made. But likewise, with Sky Sports having to deal with top rank as well, I believe they still have that deal, then they can also look at some top rank fighters like a Ajit Kabiel, like a um, FA Jagba, and that, for example, which I think would be ideal opponents for Martin Bacoli in his first fight back under Sky Sports. But of course, in the summertime, um, I'd like to see Martin Bacoli take on somebody like a Huey Fury. Again, Huey, of course, um, he needs to come back and have a comeback win as well, but then go into a um, Martin Bacoli fight. And that could be for the WBA mandatory because Martin Bacoli is ranked in the top position for the WBA. The number one is vacant currently and Martin Bacoli sits in number two. And they haven't called him or anybody to fight Daniel Dubois as a mandatory. In fact, they've called Daniel Dubois to go fight the winner of Fury and Usyk. So that could leave the WBA regular title up in the air or be a mandatory for Daniel Dubois. So Martin Bacoli against a Huey Fury in-house fight. Why not? Why not? I'd love to see that fight. If not, then Martin Bacoli versus Joseph Parker. So, either way, there are some good options out there for Martin Bacoli in house, and that, of course, listen, Bacoli would have loved nothing more than to get his uh, hands on uh, Down Dubois, but that ain't going to happen anytime soon. I can't see Boxer and Queensbury arranging that fight. Not yet unless it comes down to a mandatory position where it gets forced, then maybe. But there again, you never know. Ben Shalom and Frank Warren seem to have a good working relationship, which for us boxing fans is fantastic. So hopefully going forward, we get to see those kind of fights, right? But for now, I'd like to see Martin Bacoli just come back against a um, Ajit Kabiel or something like that. One where, in theory, he should win, but would certainly give him some rounds and then go into a Huey Fury or a Joseph Parker. So one well on Boxer. Well done to Martin Bacoli. I look forward to seeing what happens. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.